Good morning, Sagittarius. This is Renee. And even though it may not be morning in your area of the world, it's morning for me. So, hey. Um, welcome to your April 2023 reading. This it's going to be a general reading, of course. And um, if this reading resonates, please like and subscribe. If it doesn't resonate, please take a look at your other placements. They may be resonating more, okay? So let's get into it. Sagittarius, what's going on for Sagittarius in April 2023? Let's get some energies. What's going on for Sagittarius? We have, it is safe for you to love. Open your heart and give and receive the highest energy of all. Okay? So, it's if, if you're open to love, you're more adapt to receiving it. Um, so, it's, it's a safe time for you to um, open and receive love. Right? There may be someone new coming into your life. In the month of April. Okay. So let's get some more energy. For. Look at this. We have Scorp We have victory. Oh wow. I believe Scorpio got this card as well. So Archangel Sandophon. Your prayers have been heard. And answered. Have faith. Okay. So there's going to be victory. For you in some area in April. Um, I feel like, you know, there's some kind of success that's coming forward. Maybe that you have been waiting for that I'm getting. Or um, also, I feel like there's going to be little victories that you're not expecting. Okay. So very interesting. And we have clean it up. Number 21. So number 21 could be very significant. It could be your birthday. Or it could be your significant other's birthday. Um, but the number 21 may be very significant for you. It could also reduce to the number 3. Um, which is also um, could be very significant for you at this time. But we have cleaned it up. So I feel like Spirit is letting you know to remove that clutter. You know, get rid of that clutter. That doesn't always include, you know, material things that are around us. That also includes your mental clutter. You know, things that are just taking up too much space in your life. You know, it's time to sift through those things and release things that no longer feel good in our life, that no longer serve a purpose. You know, it's time to clean it up. It's time to let things go, you know, so that you can prepare your body, mind, and soul for new and better things, right? So beautiful. Okay, let's take a look and see what is going on with Sagittarius in love. And one card just wanted to just jump out. It wanted to just say, here I am. Okay, so we have Cupid's arrow. Have faith. Love is coming. There's a surprise invitation or meeting. Um, so definitely, I feel like you're being prepared here. You're being prepared. Someone has their eyes on you, Sagittarius. So it's safe for you to love. It's time to open your heart and be receptive to new love that's coming in. And we have the mask. Right? So I feel like someone's not showing exactly how much they feel about you. I feel like you may have someone who's watching you, who's just not giving you the um, indication that they're interested, you know. I feel like you may have a secret admirer. You may have someone who is chasing you and not knowing it. Right? Um, hmm. I don't feel like you're the chaser here, Sagittarius. I feel like someone is chasing you. Someone is has really got their eyes on you. I don't feel like they, they've come out and let you know exactly how much they care or how, much, how they feel about you. 
how they have find you so attractive and appealing. Um, but I feel like, you know, that's coming out very soon. You know, I feel like they're having a hard time approaching you. I feel like you make them nervous. Sagittarius. Wow. Yeah, you make them nervous. Okay, let's take a look at the tarot. What's coming out in the tarot? Let's get a message. What's coming out for Sagittarius? For April 2023, what can Sagittarius expect? What's coming forward? All placements, please. Okay, we have the Knight of Swords. Wow. Okay, we have the Star card. Wow. The Page of Swords. The King of Swords. We have the Three of Swords. Lots of swords here. There's a lot of thinking going on. Wow. Yeah, there's a lot of thinking going on. You know, and I, I, I finally see why we have that cleanup card. I finally see that. Okay. Um, we have the temperance on the bottom. So I feel like you have a lot of patience in your situation at this time. You're going through healing. You're finding more balance. You're looking for that alignment, right? Um, I feel like... If things just haven't been going right, you're, you're, you're feeling much better about the situation. Your situation is improving, okay? So, beautiful energy here. And we have the Ace of Pentacles on the bottom. Some kind of new beginning. Some kind of solid offer that you're not expecting. Okay? So, <clears throat> with this... Knight of Swords and the Star. Hmm. Sagittarius, I feel like there's some kind of decision that you need to be making, but I feel like you shouldn't make that decision in haste, right? Um, I'm really getting that there's something that needs to be getting off of your chest or off of someone close to you someone's coming forward and you know getting those feelings those thoughts off of their chest they're you know um exposing how they really feel okay and i feel like you you are going through healing you're going through the motions, right? Um, you're finding that balance. You may be wishing on that star, right? For a situation to improve. And we've seen that improvements are coming, right? Um, so I feel like, you know, there's a lot of there's a lot of thoughts here. Wow, a lot of swords. You may be dealing with a Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius, you know, but I feel like there's a lot of thoughts here. Someone is very curious. They want to know more information. They may be even spying on you or you are spying on someone else to try to get a better understanding of the situation. You want to take control of this situation you know you want to know what's going on you know you need to know it's just you know it's rubbing you the wrong way right and i feel like you're very curious you're very intuitive about the situation and i feel like you know you're going to be taking authority you're going to be speaking what you say and saying what you mean you know you're getting that voice out there you're taking your authority back with your thoughts your feelings your emotions right and i feel like there's something that's going to be making you very sad uh this may be something that's you know you 
feel like you have lost, you're grieving over a situation, um, or this could just be you being very much in doubt at this moment, right? But I feel like there's someone who is coming in to offer you help, offer you stability, offer you a generous, kind gift with this Page of Pentacles. Someone is coming in to offer you this help, and this help is very solid. It may be very immature um, because the pages are very young. They're just at the beginning, right? So th there's some new idea. This could even be a new business that just opened that they're giving you a solid offer for new employment or new career or something like that. But it, th this is something that's going to give you some kind of increase. Um, now, that increase may not always be abundance. It may not always be material gain, right? But there's a solid gift of something that you find very valuable, right? Something that you see as an asset, you know? And if you look at this dog in the background, this dog is very curious about this little this little bird he's like you know and I feel like that's kind of this curious nature that you're feeling here right very interesting okay I feel like whatever this offer is you're able to celebrate it you're able to give thanks I'm, I'm getting giving thanks for this offer right so I feel like this offer is very solid it's very appealing and I, I feel like you are really wanting to take up on this offer okay hmm. let's get a message let's clarify these cards for Sagittarius Hey. Oh, that's my stomach. I don't know why my stomach growls every time I start doing videos. For real. It's just so annoying. Okay. So we have the Eight of Wands and the Hermit. The Lovers. Okay. The Page of Swords again. And the Ace of Wands. Okay. At the bottom we have the Six of Pentacles. So I feel like whatever this offer is, whatever is coming forward in April, I feel like you are giving thanks for the situation. Um, you're able to Take someone up on their generosity or actually be generous yourself. But I feel like you're, you know, this is a balanced situation. This is equal. You feel restored, right? So that's very interesting. Sagittarius. I feel like if you're waiting for news, I feel like that news is coming forward. You're able to take action on something that you thought a great deal about. Um, I feel like you may have been in search for the answers or you were in search of some kind of new situation and you received word. You know, there's some kind of communication coming through here that is, you know, making it able for you to take action okay um hmm we also have the lovers here so and the lovers was actually on the page of swords and the king of swords so if you remember we have this mask here you know um so I feel like whoever is being curious and standing in the background, they're finally coming forward. You know, they're finally getting up the nerve to approach you, 
to speak to you, to let you know exactly how they feel, you know, to just pour their heart out on you, right? Because I feel like this person has been watching you. They've been seeing, you know, your situation, your, um, what you're dealing with. You know, I feel like this person is kind of in the background. They're kind of looking and taking notice, right? So I feel like whoever this person is who is not able to show their true feelings, I feel like they are coming forward. They're going to come forward and they're going to expose exactly how they feel. They're going to... Um, tell you exactly what they're thinking. Exactly how they feel about you, right? And now see, we have the Three of Swords and the Page of Pentacles. Well, you may doubt that something is coming through. You, you know, you're getting this new valuable offer this new valuable communication. This also may be some kind of uh, approval of some kind, you know, um, some kind of approval for a contract, approval for a loan, right? But I feel like, you know, you're, you're searching for the answers here. You're not sure if you should accept this offer, but you know, your curiosity is what's going to lead you to these answers, right? And I feel like there's there's something that you want to approach that's going to give you more knowledge, more insight on this new offer, okay? Um, I feel like something is going to be revealed that's going to give you the answer whether or not you should take this new offer. And I feel like you are. You, I feel like you are taking up on this offer because we have this Ace of Wands, this new beginning, adapting to changes in your life, right? Um, having new creative ideas, new ventures, new projects, new, you know, um, excitement. Okay, and I feel like, you know, you, you do have reason to celebrate, you know, because this is a new beginning, a new gift. So it's beautiful energy here. Yeah, it's beautiful energy here. I'm, I'm really liking this for you, Sagittarius. Okay, let's go ahead and get... A few of the romantic tarot. I want to see what is coming out for the romantic tarot, please. What's coming out for the romantic tarot? Okay, we have a new beginning. Yeah, we've seen that. We have a new beginning. We have the six of action. The six of wands. Beautiful. And we have the eight of thought. Okay. Okay. See, so we have a new beginning. Um, you're at the beginning of a wonderful journey. There's no need to have any fear. Guardian angels walk beside you every step of the way. You have unique gifts to offer the world if you will just free yourself from which holds you back. That's this eight of thoughts, the eight of swords energy. Yeah, you have to free yourself from something that's holding you back, right? New opportunities will present themselves if you truly believe, okay? This is full energy. This is the full card, okay? And we have the six of action, which is the six of wands. What a wonderful experience for you. Your project is a total success, bringing awards, promotions, and other recognition for your efforts. Well done. 
if someone who can help you offers assistance, know that this is a person that is heaven sent and say yes. Okay. So yeah, there is some sort of success. Look at this. And we saw victory. You know, you have victory in your situation. Okay. We have the eight of thoughts. This is the eight of swords energy. This is what's holding you back. You know, and you have the ability to free yourself from this situation, right? You feel as though you're restricted by the circumstances you find yourself in, but that's just an illusion. Make a promise to yourself to refuse to be stuck in a situation that's making you unhappy. Don't wait for someone to come to rescue when you can free yourself right so beautiful energy okay let's go ahead and get a manifestation moonology card for Sagittarius okay we have new moon in Scorpio go deeper so you know when you feel like you haven't come to the answers they're just not coming you know like you feel like you want to know the answers but they, they're just not there yet, right? Go deeper in your thoughts. Use your intuition. Listen to that inner voice, okay? And we have first quarter moon in Pisces. Honor your feelings. Sagittarius, if you feel like you need a break, if you feel like you need to relax or rejuvenate, do that. Honor your body. Honor the way you feel. Honor your emotions, you know, Take time out for yourself when you need to. That's very important. Okay? So let's take a look at the moonology. See what we have for Sagittarius. Okay, we have don't let pride get in your way. Okay. Yet yeah, don't be afraid to accept someone's help or to accept someone's generosity right don't be prideful in your situation you know that does nobody any good okay and we have nothing is yet set in stone so that's the thing with tarot you know nothing is set in stone Ev everyone has their own free will so whatever you hear in these cards you have the ability to change the situation because you have free will to make other decisions, other choices, right? So, yes. At the bottom, we have look at the bigger picture. Full moon in Sagittarius. So there you are stepping out, right? So, great. Take a look at the full picture, Sagittarius. Um don't take anything from face value okay so very interesting let's go ahead and get a card for Sagittarius okay we have amethyst psychic abilities and behavior patterns so working with the amethyst um, may be very beneficial for you at this time if you're into healing stones or um, chakra stones, you know, I, I feel like an amethyst may um, give you more of the um, abilities that you're seeking, right? So, and I'm not sure if you can see that real well. An amethyst, right? So beautiful. So that, that may be helping you during this time. Let's see, we also have <laughs> we also have mugwort. Why do I feel like I'm in Harry Potter, right? Rites of passage. So I, I feel like with this mugwort, with this rites of passage card, I feel like this is kind of taking you into some kind of new beginning. You you're getting the um, the rites of passage here to expand, to grow, right? As a young person goes through the rites of passage to get into their adulthood, 
I feel like you are maybe going through your rites of passage with the experiences that you've had in the past. Okay, I hope that makes sense to you. But yes, that's what I'm getting with that card. Okay, let's go ahead and take a look at your angel number for Sagittarius. Let's get a angel number for Sagittarius, please. Okay, we have one, two, three, four. Persistence. Keep going. You have completed a task that is in alignment for your soul's journey. The divine is letting you know that it sees you and that all of your persistence is paying off. You are being acknowledged, right? Um, your affirmation. I take steps to stay in alignment with my soul's journey and I reap the rewards of my persistence. Okay, so this is your message for April 2023, Sagittarius. I certainly hope this helps. If this resonates, please like and subscribe. If it doesn't resonate, feel free to take a look at your other placements. They may be resonating more at this time, right? And until your next reading, Sag, many blessings to you. Love and light.